A very common application problem that we see a lot when we study rational equations is something called a work rate problem. Basically what happens is you've got somebody or something that can complete a task in a certain amount of time. Maybe they can cut uh, a lawn in an hour or maybe wash a car in 30 minutes or maybe a, a water hose can fill up a swimming pool in 13 hours or, or something like that. And, and in fact, usually we have two people or items that can complete these tasks, usually at, at different rates. Usually somebody can do the task faster or slower than, than another person. And then the question simply asks, if these two people or things work together to complete the task, how long would it take them to, to do it? And it's uh, these are much more challenging than you might think. Um, because they're doing this the uh, same task at different rates, you can't just split the task in half and assign one person to do half and another person to, to do a half because one person's working faster than another. Simple example might be if you're painting a bedroom. Um, if you let both people go at the same time, one person's gonna complete over half of the room, one person will complete under half of the room if they're working at, at different rates by the time they complete the whole room together. So it's not quite as clear as, as you initially think. So the good news is, is even though there's a wide variety of uh, scenarios for these work rate problems, the uh, setup is basically the same for all of these. So let's talk about that and then we'll do an example. So the, the basic setup looks something like this. Um, you're going to figure out what portion of the job person A could complete and what portion of the job person B is going to complete. And then when you add those two portions together, you should have completed the entire job, which will be one whole job. So this is almost like a percentage of the whole job that person A can do. This is al almost like a, a percentage of the um, job that person B can do and those two quantities would have to add up to one. It might be 50-50, uh, might be 25-75, uh, but however it, however it adds up, it needs to add up to the whole entire uh, job. One thing that really helps in these types of problems is you can often make a chart that really helps clarify what, what's going on here. Now I'll show you the chart I would recommend that you use. So let, I, I understand that could be a little confusing. So if it doesn't all make perfectly good sense right now, that's okay. Hopefully it will by the time we finish an example. All right, so let's let's try this example here. This is a very uh, classic problem. Uh, you might have a different scenario, but the, the flavor of it, the setup of it, it will be the same regardless of whether they're washing cars like our example or cutting grass or painting a bedroom or whatever the case may be. So here we go. Melissa can wash a car in 40 minutes. Mark can wash the same car in 30, 30 minutes. He can do it a little faster. The question is simple. How long will it take them to wash the car if they work together as a team? All right. So I don't know. Uh, it's certainly faster than 30 minutes or 40 minutes, but you know exactly how fast you know could could they do it? Um, it's unclear at this moment. So here's the chart I was talking about. So you're gonna make a chart with two rows in it, one for Melissa, one for Mark, and then we have some information we need to know about Melissa and Mark. So first up, how, um, how long would it take them to work just by themselves? So time working alone. Melissa is 40 minutes and Mark is 30 minutes. All right, clear enough. Now, one thing that we have to know is their work rate. How fast are they working? 40 minutes is not a rate. Their work rate is always going to be one over the amount of time working alone. And let me explain what that means. Um, you basically are just going to take the reciprocal of 40 or the reciprocal of 30, but not just because. There's a reason, reason for this. What you're saying is Melissa can complete one whole task, she can wash the whole car in 40 minutes, right? So that, that's why it's one over 40. She, just by herself, she can complete the whole task, one whole task in 40 minutes. Where on the other hand, Mark's work rate would be one over 30, 
because he can complete one whole task, one whole car in 30 minutes. Now, they're both gonna work until the car is washed. So how long did they work together? Well, let's, let's think about it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how, how long it's gonna take them to finish if they work together, but what I do know is that however long it takes Melissa, it's gonna take Mark the same amount of time because we're gonna assume they're gonna keep working until the car is, is completely finished simultaneously at the same time. Even though Mark works faster, there's not, there's not going to be a scenario where because Mark works faster, he does his half and then goes and, and gets a, a beverage to, you know, to drink and watch Melissa finish up her half. It doesn't work like that. He, even though he's working faster, he's still going to keep washing and Melissa until the, the car is completely, uh, com completely washed. All right. So uh, we, that's what we're trying to find is this T here. How long do they have to work to finish this job? All right, now, how much did they complete of the entire job? Well, the portion that they completed respectively will be the work rate, how fast they're working, times the time that they've worked. So this would be T over 40, where that, that's coming from T times 1 over 40. Um, let, let me, and let me clarify, in, in case that's unclear why that works. Let's say hypothetically, let's forget Mark for a minute. Let's say Melissa's work rate is one over 40, one task, one car washed in 40 minutes. Let's say Melissa works for 20 minutes. Well, 20 over 40, the portion she would have completed would be half the car. Makes perfectly good sense. If she works 40 minutes, 40 times one over 40 would be the whole car, right? So, so this product, taking this product makes sense that it would give you the portion that Melissa completed of, of washing the car. All right, the portion Mark completed was T over 30 for the same reason. All right, so this is how much Melissa completed. This is how much Mark completed. So together, they should have washed the entire car. That was that first page that you saw earlier. So if you're gonna take this math uh, paragraph and turn it into a math equation, it will look something like this. T over 40 plus T over 30 should equal one whole car that they wash together. So this is a rational equation. So this is exactly why we're studying this in this particular chapter here. So if we solve this for T, then we'll have our answer. So let's, let's go to a, a new page and see if we can finish this guy out. This is a very light one. A lot of times you'll have T's in the denominator for other types of problems. I was trying to keep this one pretty light just to explain the concept of work rate problems. Uh, your equation might be a, a little uglier than mine, but that's okay. Um, so here, let's solve this. Uh, we're gonna find the least common denominator of 40 and 30. The LCD, I think, would be 120. Um, so we'll multiply um, both sides through by 120. 120 on the left, 120 on the right. So you would get 3T plus 4T equals 120. 3T and 4T make 7T equals 120. So T would be 120 over 7 minutes. All right, 120 over 7 minutes. So how, how much is that? Uh, let's see here, 120 divide 7 into that. 7, 5, 0, 17. So 17 with a remainder of 1. So 17 and 1 seventh minutes which is approximately 17.143 minutes. If you take one divided by seven, um, depending on how, how your instructor likes the answer displayed, some might be okay with 17.143 uh, minutes. Most people don't say 0.143 minutes. Most people say this many minutes and this many seconds. Um, to get that, what you could do is you could take the 0.143 
and multiply by 60, just the decimal part, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. And this turns out to be 17 minutes and about nine seconds, okay? So that makes sense. Um, that's faster than Mark by himself, is faster than Melissa by herself. So anyways, that's how you do these work rate problems. You set up the chart, figure out the part that person A can do, person B can do, add them together to equal one whole task, and then solve for T or, or solve whatever it is that you happen to be looking for. So anyways, hopefully that makes these work rate problems a little bit more clear.